guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful, amazing, beautiful day. For those of you who are new here, hi, I'm Azure Blue. It's so nice to meet you. In this video, I will be recreating this fall glam eyeshadow look. I'm actually like obsessed with it. I think it turned out super good. If you guys want to see how I created this look, then make sure to stick around, keep on watching. <laughs> if you like what you see, make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell if you'd like to be notified every single time I upload. I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get on with the look. Okay, we are going to start with a mix of the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Snow. We're just gonna do, running out of that, so about two pumps, but it's really just a tiny dot. And then also some of the Tarte foundation, and we're just going to mix those two together on the back of my hand. Next we're going with Tarte Cheap Tape. Next, we're just going to dip into, okay, next I'm just going to dip into the Tarte Pro Glow Palette, and I use this Radiant Foundation Brush, which is just this one here, and I'm going to dip into the contour shade, which is a cream contour, and the shade is called Shade. I'm just going to dip into a little bit of that it's on, the con on the cheekbones and on the forehead. Go back in with the beauty blender to blend that out. Next, we're going to dip into the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Just press that underneath of the eyes. Now, moving on to the eyes, we're going to take the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I use this all the time. You can tell by the print on the tube already coming off. We're just going to apply that to the eyelids. Since I have the Car Carly by Bell palette right in front of me, I'm going to open that up and I'm going to dip into this first shade, this first shade right here. I guess this palette doesn't have shade names, so it's just this top. I'm just going to dip into this shade right here in the top left corner and use that to set my lips. Okay, next I'm going to dip into a different palette. Okay, I'm going to be dipping into the Lorac Mega Pro the Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette. So, first I'm going to dip into the shade Pecan, which is the shade right here. With the shade, I'm going to focus this in the crease. Okay, so sorry about that. Like the smart person I am, I dipped into the shade next to it on accident, which is a deep brown. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this shade and focus it lightly in the crease and then also keep that concentrated on the outer V and also the inner corner. With the excess on the powder, you're going to take your brush, you're going to gently blend out the edges of the shadow. Next, we're going to dip into this shade here. It's called Violet Gray. Focusing this on the outer V and the inner corner. I'm going to start by stamping this on there. 
And then after I've stamped this product there, I'm just gonna lightly blend it out. And I'm still using the exact same brush that I've been using. Next, we are switching over to an IT Cosmetics Dazzling Crease Brush. So next we're gonna dip into this deep shade right here called eggplant and this is just a deep plum and we're going to focus this again in the outer corner and the inner V. Now, going in with that small, precise brush I used earlier, I'm going to dip into the tiniest bit of the Jet Black, which is just any black shade would work, but this one in particular is this one here. Focus that right next to where you're going to put the crease. So next we're just going to take some tart shape tape on the back of your hand and a flat concealer brush. Mine is quite large, but if you have a smaller one, I would I would recommend using a smaller one. You're going to get a lot more pres you're going to get a lot more precision and be able to place this where you want it to with a smaller brush, but at the moment this is the one that I have. So it's going to be the one that I use. Just the bigger the brush you're using, be more careful to make sure that you keep it precise and where you want it. Next, we're going to I'm just going to dip my finger into any bone shade. This one is called this one is called Crepe, and I'm just going to use that to set this concealer in place. Next, we're going to grab that very first shade we used and dipping back into Violet Gray, which was that second to last shade, and lightly blending between where we just cut and the eyeshadow. Dipping into a little bit of eggplant and just doing the same thing. Any loose glitter or any metallic or shimmer eyeshadow that you would like. I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay. I'm gonna be using the Cover FX Shadow Veil in the shade Magic, and just placing that right over the concealer. Okay, next you're gonna pick up that shade Eggplant. And just continue to blend those lines. Okay, so that did not exactly give me how I want it to, so I'm going to dip back into the Mega Pro Palette 3, and I'm going to dip into this shade here, which is called Rose Quartz. Also, I'm going to mix this with the shade right above it, which is called Bellini, and it's just more peachy. Next, I'm going to give this a little spritz of Max Fix Plus, and pack that over where the shim or the pigment is. Once more taking that blending brush and dipping into a mix of violet grain eggplant and blending those together. I'm gonna do eyeliner and lashes off camera and I will be right back. Hello humans, I am back. I did the other eye off camera. Okay, I did the other eye off camera. I did my eyebrows because they're difficult. But, but besides the point, now we are going to finish up the base. Whatever is left of that bake, we're gonna wipe it away like we are wiping away our problems. Done. We are going to take this Sephora double-ended cheek and highlighting brush and you guys know one of my favorite tricks if you want a really easy bl bronzer 
is to get a face powder. This is the Bare Minerals one, and it is the tinted one, which means it's brown. And it works really nicely for... <laughs> it works really nicely for a bronzer, so we are just going to bronze up our cheeks a little bit. Now that we are a little bronzed and don't look like we are so freaking white, which we are, but we don't need to make it that obvious. Next, we are going to take, nice hair. Next, we're gonna take the pointed, this part right here. We're gonna dip that into the powder. And we're going to messily, because it doesn't have to be perfect, this on the side of our nose because we want a sister snatched snoz. Who else is like really excited for Thanksgiving, which is less than a week away? Well, it's exactly a week away because I'm filming this on Thursday because I'm a mess and can't upload when I say I'm going to. I'm great at that. Okay, so what I'm doing now, <laughs> besides the point, is I'm taking translucent powder because my nose contour, contour, was disgusting. So I'm taking this powder and placing this on my nose. We're taking our usual Eco Tools, don't know what brush, this, a brush that I like to use for blush. We are taking the super shiny Tarte blush the tarte blush bazaar amazonian clay blush palette and we're taking shades we're taking shades extraordinary we're taking shades extraordinary and dainty which are the which are these two this one's extraordinary this one's dainty this one does have a little bit of shimmer in it but I've kind of been digging that lately, so we're just gonna mix these two together. I go all out. And then I'm going to take a little bit of Fortunate, which is this one right here. We're just going to take a tiny bit of that. We're going to run a little bit on the tip of the nose, a little bit on the forehead, and a little bit on the chin. Just to give your face some overall color. The strobe, which is the very lightest top shade on the right. And we are going to highlight our cheekbones. Okay, next we're going to dip into Stunner, which is the one I'm hitting pan on. It's the one right under it. Under it. So many people hate on this palette, but like, this is so good. What the heck? Using my true favorite, the MAC lip liner in the shade Soar. That liquid lipstick by Too Faced in the shade Chocolate Honey. And just apply that right over. And there we have it. This look is all complete. I freaking am obsessed with this. I think this would look really beautiful if you're going out. I think it'd be beautiful on Thanksgiving. This is my version of a fall glam, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I hope that you guys will stick around and want to see more videos. If you do, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new here. If you're not new here, then thank you for sticking around. I really hope to grow over this next year. I love you guys so much. 
Make sure to comment and like as well. If you guys have anything you would like to see, make sure to leave it down in the comments below. Until next time, I love you guys.